Hi everyone, happy Sunday and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another fashion video because I realised I hadn't really done anything talking about fashion since the end of last year and I realised I was looking through my wardrobe and it's normally when I do a big clear out I realise the things I've worn the most over a year and I thought it'd be quite a nice thing to talk you through some of my favourite things in 2016 whether that was new purchases, things I just wore endlessly or even things that I perhaps bought, didn't wear all the time, but hold that kind of sentimental value and the kind of thing you think, I just can't let go of you. Um, so I thought I would talk you through some of those items. I've got about 10 and there's quite a selection here, so let's get going. So the first item I'm gonna be talking about are these boots. I bought these last January and they were kind of like my most kind of extravagant shoe purchase. Um, they cost a couple of hundred pounds. They were in the sale though, so that's kind of how I justified it. Um, but I am obsessed with them. I bought them, yeah, as I said, last January, and I called them my David Bowie boots because I bought them, they've got this amazing kind of gold arrow at the back, and when I first bought them, I didn't really know how to style them. I was a bit like, oh my god, I've just bought silver Spaceman boots. Um, and I was really worried about them because I was like, how do I style them? I just love them, I don't know how to style them. And I think as the year went on, metallics became more of a thing, um, there were more shoes like it. I know Office did a couple of pairs which is very, very similar. And they just became a lot easier to wear. So much so that I think they've become one of my most worn shoes of last year. So that's why they're in this video. Um, I just absolutely love them. They're the most comfy shoe ever. They're like buttery soft and they're just a really good heel, really good height. And I've actually found they go with everything, which is really weird because they're a silver shoe. But um, I've worn them more than black shoes and I just absolutely love them. So these are number one. The next item I'm going to be talking about is this jumper from Gap. I have this in a couple of colour variations, I've spoken about it absolutely endlessly. I'll pop in some posts below that I've worn it, I've just exhausted this jumper but this was the year I fell in love with knitwear which, I mean, I've always had knitwear in my wardrobe but it's the one thing now that I cannot avoid buying. I just see it and I'm like, oh, but I will always need a jumper whether it's at home, being cosy, it just goes with jeans, with smart things. And these jumpers from Gap, this kind of like funnel roll neck kind of style, which is slightly oversized but not too much that you can't tuck them in, were my complete staple last winter. Um, even so much going into this winter as well. I've just worn them so, so much. This is the kind of pastel pink one, which I love. And I just think they're a really good wardrobe staple. It's the kind of thing I know I'm going to have for years, or I'll be buying variations of in years, or variations from in years. Ugh, confused. But yeah, absolutely love this, so I have to include this. Another item I fell in love with in 2016, more so the brand, was this brand which is Realization, or I'm sure you say that in a cool, chic French accent, but um, they do the most beautiful kind of silk slip dresses, ruffle dresses, they're really beautiful summer pieces. They're not cheap, um, they're definitely kind of on the more treat yourself, saving up kind of end of the spectrum, but I bought this blouse of theirs and it's not on the hanger but it's kind of like long sleeved and it's quite low cut and you just tie it up in the middle um, and it's absolutely beautiful it's the kind of thing that is a really great fix if you're not sure what to wear for evening wear and it looks great with jeans it's also great for some with a little pair of shorts um, and I just absolutely love this it was also a bit more of a spendy purchase for me but it's something that I've worn so so much um, it's quite low I have had to pop on some kind of body tape as ASOS and Amazon call it um, but yeah I absolutely love this it's definitely something different that I've never really worn until this year so I absolutely love it moving on to around June time I bought this suit from ASOS in June and it's kind of like a pajama style um, kind of suit co-ord arrangement it's this beautiful pink floral fabric kind of I don't know it's kind of Gucci inspired it's got that kind of more is more theme going on. It's kind of like a little jacket which is double breasted along with some matching kind of collot trousers. This I bought for my birthday in June as I mentioned and I absolutely love this. It's definitely not the most subtle thing I own and I definitely haven't worn it non-stop since but I absolutely just love it as a set. It looks really awesome together. It does look great as separate. It's like the jacket looks really cool with jeans and things like that and the trousers equally look cool with t-shirts, but I think together it's just the most statement awesome thing ever. Um, I haven't really worn it much, but I just, I think I associate it with that day and that time when it's my birthday, and it's a really cool kind of slouchy, easy to wear thing that I loved wearing, and I definitely, definitely am glad I bought it because, yeah, ASOS, can do no wrong. 
The next item I'm going to be talking about is this dress from Topshop. I again have spoken about this so much. Um, I think I bought this in the summer of 2015. It was a couple of years ago now and I I don't know, I thought about it for a really long time. It was spotted on people like Alexa Chung, Laura Wetmore, it was kind of everywhere. And it was part of the Topshop, I think it's a unique collection, which means it's slightly more expensive for Topshop, but I just kind of bit the bullet and I did it and I was like, I definitely think I'll get wear out of it. And two years on, I'm still wearing it all the time. And it's just one of those things I just think, I'm so glad I bought it. And that kind of style is the kind of thing that I know is now going to be a fail-safe wardrobe go-to. It's this kind of skater style dress, it's got lots of fabric underneath so it's got a really beautiful shape to it, it's also got a contrasted collar and little fleet sleeves which are inside out and they have little kind of bell detail which is also contrasted and it's just beautiful, it looks great with tights and ankle boots, great with kind of trainers in the summer, that's one thing I wore a lot this year and it's just something I've not got sick of and I know I won't get sick of and yeah, I'm just really happy to have it in my wardrobe. So yeah, this is this is Bay. This dress is Bay, and I know I'm gonna keep wearing it forever. Moving along to the best staple piece, these jeans are a pair of jeans I wore endlessly last year, and it's these kick flares from ASOS, and I just exhausted them. I think I bought them around March time, and they sold out quite soon afterwards. And I tried to get another pair, and I still haven't been able to. But since then, I think a lot of different styles have kind of come out. So I'll link those below. But I absolutely love these. These again were a kind of style that until last year I'd never really tried. I was a bit like, oh, are they going to look a bit Avril Lavigne or Jameson Busted? And absolutely not. They look amazing. They look great with trainers, great with ankle boots, great with heels. They're actually even slightly more flattering, I think, because I'm quite sure I think it just cuts off a good point. And it's just, it just adds a little bit more interest to kind of basic outfit. I think if you've got a kind of little kick flare, poster skinny jeans, it can kind of look quite cool, even with something like a striped top. So I absolutely love these, I just think, I think jeans are one of those things that I seem to just buy all the time and I really don't need to because I've got so many pairs but I just love interesting details and I think a kick flare is the easiest way to add interest and add an interesting detail to a pair of jeans if you're not really sure how to do it. So if you're not fancying embroidery or anything like rips, I think a kick flare is a really cool way to kind of spice things up a bit. <laughs> So moving on, there's another pair of shoes I'm going to include in my top 10, my countdown, and it is these from And Other Stories. I bought these quite late on in the year, I think I bought them around November time, which is quite late for me, for me, for me and my boot collection. Um, but it's because I had a pair very similar from Zara, which I've had for about three years, and this year they just went AWOL. Like, no traces left, they just disappeared, they packed their bags and left, and it's really weird because I wore them all the time and I don't remember where I last wore them but they just disappeared so I was on the hunt for something very very similar um, and these you know fitted the brief and they are just simple ankle boots with a silver zip and a very small heel ideally the heel could be a bit bigger but the fact it's quite small makes them very very comfortable they're a really really soft leather initially when I bought them they were quite sturdy but they have softened up a lot which is great um, and they just they're just fail safe I'm really really into a pointed boot I know a lot of people I don't know, sometimes people are a bit like, wow, they're, like, they're quite a statement, but I just see these as a really good day-to-day -day shoe. Um, I prefer them on me than a rounded kind of toe, and I just think they're really, really flattering. They just go with everything, and they're just a good black boot, so I'm really, really happy with these, and I'm hoping they will stay around until next year because I'm going to have to keep an eye on them because my black boots just do not hang about. Moving on to accessories, I picked up this bag in the middle of last year, and... I absolutely love it. I saved up for this and I was a bit unsure because it's quite a simple bag in terms of design. It's literally just a bucket bag. It's, I mean it's empty so I can kind of open it up, but it's just kind of a very simple leather bag. There's no lining, there's nothing fancy. So I was almost a bit unsure as to whether to justify kind of a larger amount of money on something like this, but I'm really, really glad I did because it is such a good size. This is a smaller version of this bag and it fits my camera in it. It's sturdy enough that I don't worry about any kind of coming loose or putting too much pressure on the straps. And it's just a really, really great colour. It adds a lot of interest to kind of more simple outfits. And I think this kind of blush pinks also act, also acts like quite a good neutral. Um, I just really, really love it. And it's not kind of the typical bag you would save up to spend money on necessarily. It's not, I suppose, a classic bag in the sense of the word but I think it's just 
it's classic for me and my style, it's quite playful, it's quite a fun colour but it still has that practicality. The only thing is that when it rains, you know, it's a bucket bag so I like to kind of, if it is raining I try and avoid it full stop but I do put like another kind of, I don't know, like a dust bag inside and then put odds and ends in it because obviously things do fly around a little bit but yeah, absolutely thrilled with this bag, I've had a lot of use out of it so the cost per wear is going straight down and that is the main thing when I've saved for something so yeah, very happy with this. Another bag that joined my collection in 2016 that I have used endlessly is this bag from Radley. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I did a what's in my bag fe featuring it, I did another video featuring it so I'm not going to exhaust it too much because you've, you're probably just like, yeah, we know, we get it. Um, but I had to include this because it is just the perfect daily bag. I use it all the time. I get so many compliments on it. If you want a surefire way for someone to say, hey, nice bag, this is the bag for you. It's in the sale at the moment as well. Um, not trying to encourage you to spend money in January, but it is in the sale. And I just absolutely love it. It's just great. It fits everything in it. And just thrilled for it to be joining my wardrobe this year. Welcome, Welcome to the gang. Love it. Finally, I'm going to talk a little bit more about accessories because this year was the year that I finally started wearing more accessories, I guess. Um, I've never really been a huge jewellery or watch person. I was always a bit like, I don't know, I think I'm a bit lazy. I kind of get dressed, walk out the door and don't really think to add anything else. Um, so I suppose I overcompensate with what I wear sometimes because I'm like, I won't be wearing any jewellery. But this year, I've definitely kind of spruced things up a bit. I bought these earrings from Whistles, which were the first thing I bought. And they're kind of just like flat gold hoops. And I've worn them so, so much. And um, they're about £25, so they weren't cheap for earrings. But for the quality and the fact they've not turned my ears green or they've not kind of gone rusty, totally happy to pay that. Um, I've also started wearing more watches, more rings, which I haven't got on today. But they're things that I've been really, really excited to start wearing more of in 2016. Because I just, you know, I think it adds a bit more interest to an outfit. I know I've said that with everything, like it's a bit more interesting. But I don't know, I just, I enjoy wearing them. And I like the sentiment behind some of my jewellery. So it's nice to actually wear it and showcase it. And kind of be able to tell a story behind the pieces if I can. So yeah, definitely going to start doing that more in 2017 if I can. And if I remember. And if I leave myself more time. Five minutes more in the morning means good jewellery in your outfit. So yeah, going to make time for that. Okay, so that is that. I really hope you enjoyed this wrap-up of 2016 styles, my favourites. Let me know what you've been really loving wearing in 2016, because it's really great to kind of know the things that people have been turning to again and again, and kind of thinking, hey, maybe I could do with that in my wardrobe, or maybe I've already got that. So definitely let me know. I've also got a new blog post going up today as part of a new Sunday series, which has got lots of links, clothes picks, clothing picks, um, website articles I've loved so go and have a look at that as well if you fancy some extra reading after this extracurricular activity and yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and a like and also stay tuned for next week because I've got the start of a very cool little series coming so fingers crossed that edits well and you enjoy it so I will see you then